Hi. <clears throat> it's Andrea Dancing Star. Um, and it's going to be Halloween tomorrow. Hattie Beans is sitting right here. Um, my whole little table is full of chaos. Uh, spiritual chaos. It's just everything is all over the place. And it's just a, a tad bit anxiety inducing for her to be right here because one wrong move and everything will come tumbling down. But she's an angel. Yeah, she's an angel girl. So, let's read for the astrological sign of Pisces. Oh, first though, um, if you're watching this, um, it would be amazing. It would be amazingly amazing for me if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Um, it would be amazing for you because I do this every week. And I actually truly love doing tarot. So, yeah. Please. Please do it for Hattie. Do it for Hattie. She's always a part of this. She actually runs the show. Okay. So, for Pisces. So, for Pisces. Let's see. What is going on this week? What is going on this week for Pisces? Hattie Beans, please don't think about that. Thank you. I know what she's thinking about. She's thinking about chewing on that cord. Which is dangerous. It's muy peligroso. Okay, so. For Pisces. The astrological sign of Pisces. The astrological sign of Pisces. Death. I mean, that's kind of exciting. Honestly, I mean, it's death. So everybody is always not everybody, but the majority of human beings are kind of terrified of death. But it's really just the beginning of a new phase. So it's not really as horrible as the um, the energy that that people place on it. This in the tarot does not mean an actual literal like human death. This means that you are transforming some kind of a situation that has ended. Like you're able to finally let it go. And you're going to, after you let it go, it will transform into a brand new opportunity. Something new will come along. And also you will have learned a lot of wisdom along the way. Ace of Pentacles reversed is on the bottom of the deck, so I kind of feel like possibly there's some kind of money thing that didn't really work out. Tell me more for the astrological sign of Pisces. Six of Wands and the Ten of Wands reversed. Okay, so this is fantastic. You are being seen by the public, by your community, by um, co-workers possibly. Your your tribe, the people that surround you, you're being recognized by them. You're being seen by them and you're victorious. You have overcome massive hurdles. You have overcome some serious, serious challenges and problems that you've been facing and carrying all on your own. It, it was a massive burden. Um, you're turning that upside down and you're being celebrated for it. Like people are seeing you be victorious. More for Pisces. Five of cups reversed and the three of pentacles. Okay. <sighs> there is something very sad about possibly school, being in school, some kind of training, some kind of new training class, maybe possibly some kind of continuing education. Maybe it's possibly just like a hobby type class that you are wanting to participate in. There was some kind of grief loss there. Like it's almost like you lost the opportunity to participate and you're turning that upside down. You're getting out of that phase. You're possibly just able to get back into school, back into this class. That is fantastic. These are exciting cards for the astrological sign of Pisces. 
Ace of Swords reverse. I kind of wanted to come out, but it didn't. I think that means that, you know, you were possibly experiencing a bit of confusion and it's changed. I love how the sun reflects off of this card and then lights my face up. Okay. Eight of wands reversed. Nine of cups reversed. I mean, yeah. So there's possibly a person who came in the way of you being able to achieve your dreams. There's possibly a person that came in the way and blocked you from being able to go to school who tried to take your dreams of school away, um, your wishes, and you're just blocking all communication with this person. You're just not going to have this person in your life. You're cutting your like energetic ties and you're also blocking their phone number. That's fantastic. That is good because if they cause you pain, and, and cause you to not be able to realize your dreams, to not be able to pursue your education, they're not helpful. They're not adding, they're not amplifying your energy. They're not adding anything to your life. So it's fantastic to cut them out. Yeah. Yeah. Six of Pentacles kind of sideways and the Seven of Swords reversed. Okay, so there was some kind of contract, some kind of balanced contract. Um, I feel like somebody made a contract with you um, and I feel like they're kind of holding out on it. Like it's kind of up in the air, like maybe you fulfilled your purpose, your side in this contract. It's kind of like money, you know, like doling out money um, in a fair way. Kind of seems like possibly someone made a contract, a money contract with you. It's not totally stable. Like someone hasn't, someone hasn't fulfilled their end of the bargain. And then on the bottom of the deck is seven of swords reversed. So that definitely means that someone kind of stole money in this contract like possibly you gave a person money and they said they were going to pay you back and they never paid you back could also be vice versa either way there's an apology in that situation so the person who was dishonest the person who did not keep up their end of the bargain they're apologizing for it they're regretting it they're wishing that they hadn't done the things that they did now, I don't know exactly why they're regretting it. I don't know if it's for selfish reasons or because they truly feel bad, but they are expressing regret and apologies. Okay, anything else? The Tower and the Emperor. Interesting. Okay, and the Knight of Cups. Wow, that's kind of interesting. Um... It looks like there's some kind of major situation happening in love. It looks definitely like someone is offering a cup of love. They're expressing their love. They're wanting to take someone out on a date. They're wanting to shower someone with gifts and love and chocolates, roses, lilies, adore them. They're expressing their interest. Also, Aries... Taurus energy with the emperor that's upright energy and then the tower you know the tower is a situation it's a breakdown of a situation it's a complete breakdown of a situation there's a man and a woman falling from this building there's lightning there's fire there's storms there's cliffs it's just perilous this card is but also, it doesn't have to always be perilous. It can just shake up a situation that you're currently existing in only to replace it with something completely better. There's like some kind of expression of love that is occurring that is completely changing 
completely changing the current the current status. So it doesn't always have to be bad. You know, there can be absolute life changing news that's good. And it's going to change your life completely. So of course, everything that's old has to come down, you know, it's a shock. It's a complete breakdown of what was because something new is coming in. And we have the emperor. I mean, this is again, like I said, Aries and Taurus energy, but this person, this masculine energy, they are in the they're in ultimate control. Ultimate control, ultimate power. They rule over everything. I mean, it kind of looks like this emperor is It looks like this emperor is the one that is expressing lo the love, you know, expressing the amorous feelings that they have that's shaking things up. Whew. It's also a divine masculine energy. Seven of wands reversed and the wheel of fortune. Yeah, this I think is going to be a very, very intense shakeup, but it's going to be like an exciting shakeup. You know, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's going to get you out of a struggle. It's going to help you out. It's a great turn in the wheel of fate in your direction. And it definitely involves love. But even more so involving love, it involves a balance, you know, um, especially of finances, you know, the day to day struggle that humans, you know, experience in life. It's giving you some rest. Ooh, the eight of pentacles was behind that. I didn't even know that. So yeah. There's some kind of new job offer, it looks like, or some kind of a raise in your job. Either way, it's completely helping you. It's, it's taking a situation where you felt hopeless and like you had new opportun no opportunities, no new opportunities, and giving you all of those opportunities. It's fantastic. It's a very exciting. Um, and you're, you're, you're going with it. You've been going with it. You're not trying to fight the thing that ended. You're not trying to change it. You're not being stuck in the past. You're going with it. Also, again, your peers, your coworkers, the world, your friends, they're seeing you succeed and be victorious. This is so exciting so very exciting I think I'm gonna leave that there the dumb trash truck is outside it's so loud I hope that you have a fantastic Halloween and thank you for being here and I will see y'all in the next video